and welcome back. I wanted to release a quick video um, to try and sort of uh, calm a lot of people's nerves effectively as to what's happening in the world right now in general and within the sort of cryptocurrency and equity markets. Now, a lot of this was originally driven by the Fed's decision over in the United States to start to reduce interest rates um, over fears of creeping inflation. Um, which is obviously driving up living costs and, and prices as well as supply chain issues across the board. That's trickled across into the equity markets where we've seen sell-offs since the beginning of January, around the 5th of January. And the cryptocurrency markets as well are taking a bit of a beating. One thing to take away from all of this is that the real winners at the end of this story effectively with the people that continue to dollar cost average or, or buy over the consistent period of time and realistically waiting to buy the dip um, albeit good if you catch it, it's not what you should be focusing on. You should be focusing on trickling money or whatever you have effectively into these markets over a long period of time. Um, that being said, if you do have sort of dry powder or free capital, like I said before, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't uh, provide any sort of advice. But what I'm currently doing and what many others are probably doing is slowly feeding more capital into these markets i mean if we take a look at some of these top coins that we all know and love um they are quite a ways from their all-time high i mean bitcoin being sort of one of the safest in air quotes naturally this is the crypto market it's full of risk 50 percent down from its all-time high you know there's a potential and almost an inevitability that these tokens and projects and coins and chains will return to their all-time highs um you know, some of these have got a 50% upside. Solana here as well. I mean, 66%. You've got Ripple uh, down 85% from its all-time high. AVAX, 60%. Something that we love talking about on this channel, I'm sure a lot of you like. Uh, HBAR, sort of, you know, 65% away from its, its all-time high, which translates, more importantly, to nearly 200% upside. So these are the times to be putting any additional that you've got in and to sort of help fill your bags effectively. Um, some fantastic things here that could be scooped up at, at very, very attractive prices um, with the potential to make you some money. Only if you believe in the projects, of course. I found a few good tweets as well that I just wanted to quickly talk about. Uh, one here from BTC Fuel saying, you know, I believe the flipping could happen. This could be close to the peak of the alt season. I see the possibility that alts will then start correcting and Bitcoin will go for its final leg when most altcoins only dead cat bounce in bitcoin's final leg not sure though he then mentions the dot-com bubble as well happening seven years after the launch of the world wide web um ethereum was launched in july 2015 seven years later would be july of this year so altcoin season could be between september and november and that kind of fits with the trajectory of lengthening cycles of the bitcoin or of bitcoin sorry the main tweet that I wanted to draw your attention to was the dot-com bubble was around 6 trillion adjusted for inflation. This would be around 10 to 20 trillion nowadays. The big difference now is that buying stocks, crypto is way easier. You can even do it from a phone yourself. Back in the day, you used to have to go to or phone up effectively to, to put orders through and it was all paper, etc. There is so much money floating about within these markets. The other thing you need to think about is the sell-offs happen. This money has to go somewhere eventually. Most of the time, it's not going to be sat in a checking account somewhere. It's going to flow back into equities and crypto markets and assets eventually. So this will turn around. Um, another thing, if you come onto sort of Google Trends and you, you have a quick look and we compare the topic of crypto versus stock market, we can see the average search terms as well for cryptocurrency over the last sort of year period from 2021 of January to this year, January. The search term for cryptocurrency is a lot higher than stock market so there is more interest from retail effectively within these markets which will continue to push prices up the last thing i'd like to talk about as well actually is a tweet from blockworks and it's talking about the biggest companies that are hiring for crypto reddit visa jp morgan nike many others we see here reddit is hiring a senior engineer to help them build an nft platform meta or facebook is looking to integrate crypto and payments they want a payment systems manager visa senior director for visa crypto you know, one of the this Visa is the largest payment facilitator in the world. 
Walmart hiring a crypto expert to lead its crypto strategy and product creation. Amazon here as well, principal digital asset specialist, business development, financial services, Fidelity, 